Hello everyone, and welcome back to Ice on ASMR. This is Misha and Michael. Hello. And we are playing Minecraft again. And it's been quite a while. I've been a bit under the weather, so I don't know if I'm going to remember anything. We might have to teach Michael how to do everything all over again, which would be fine. This is the cave we've built for ourselves. Uh, I put in a floor since the last time we played, but that should really be one of the only differences. All right. It's a nice floor. Oh, thank you. I went and I got some birch wood and put it down with planks. And I have some magenta wool. So just, and magenta dye, so whenever we need that, good to go. I, well, I, I think we might need a, a carpet here. I mean, it, it certainly could use, use carpet here. Okay, but we don't, we don't actually have carpet yet, right? Well, I believe you can make carpet out of wool. If you uh... put two wool next to each other in the crafting table, it'll create carpet. I only have one magenta wool. Oh, I see. Do you have any magenta any other magenta dye? Yes. Let's see. Here, I'm going to throw some wool at you. Oh, whoops. See what you can do with that. Okay. Uh wool, wool, wool. Did I get the wool? There it is. All right. So if we do that, and we do that, no, um, I put wool in the top and magenta dye underneath that, but that doesn't seem to work. Hmm, is it, do you, I don't really dye things very often, do you put it maybe just next to the wool or around it? Okay. One piece of wool and one piece of dye. Something has to give here, right? Oh, oh. Have you put them right next there to we each go. other? There Okay. Okay. That seems to be it. What did I do again? Crap, crap, crap. Okay. Dye. Wool. There we go. And then I just keep grabbing magenta wool. Okay, and I can do this 12 more times. Meanwhile, you've built another house while I'm doing this. I haven't, but I did dye some more wool, so I'm going to put it by... I'm going to put it around our bed. Okay. All right. Now I have wool. Uh, I'm just going to try... Oh, is that carpet? That is carpet. Okay. So I now have three tiles of magenta carpet. Come on. This is so exciting. I'm sure everyone watching is riveted as I put carpet together. The, it's not meant to be interesting. It's meant to be relaxing, soothing. You're oh. crafting things. You're building things. It's, it's a relaxing activity. Yes. Do you, do you like my blue carpet over here? It's... It's very regal. Regal, yeah. I like that. All right, where do you think we should put carpeting? Well, uh, how many pieces do you have? 24. Oh, you could make a nice big rug right in the center of the floor if you wanted to. So... Something like this? Yeah. Now we just need a big dead lion to put on there and then it'll be complete this this looks very nice oh i wonder there we go let's get rid of that edge so the rug's a little more centered yeah yeah i like it 
Good. Now we have created a rug. Hooray. <laughs> Excitement was felt throughout the village. All right, time for a nap. I can't remember. Oh yeah, here we go. Everything's going gray. Goodbye, cruel world. As a matter of fact, if we had two beds and it was nighttime and we both went to sleep, we would both wake up in the morning. Oh, so that's, that's pretty nifty. That's what that's for. Um, so we might want to build two beds just, just for fun sometime. But we are on peaceful mode, so we don't have to worry about monsters coming in at night. So that's... That's good. Now that in the distance, that looks like the Leviathan God from uh, uh, Hell, Hell, Hellraiser 2. You mean the moon? Yes. <laughs> I can see how it would be easy to mistake the two. Yeah. Just that giant diamond swirling in the distance. I, I, don't, I didn't see that one. No. That was the last of the good ones, really. Hmm. Well, uh, we should decide what to do. Um, okay. There is, I would like to eventually, um, well, at some point I would like to finish our house, but I would also like to build a portal to the, to the nether world, but for that we need obsidian, and to get that we need diamond. And diamond is really hard to find. We have to go way down into a deep cave to find it. Well, should we keep exploring our deep cave, or should we... I, I figure our two main options are either down or out to a different uh, uh, landmass, right? Uh, yeah, we can um, we can go exploring and see if we can find a cave elsewhere. I know we have that mine shaft down there. Um, I don't know if it's quite it deep enough for diamonds. Um, mm. Because you they, you only find them below a certain level, and I'm not entirely sure where that is. I think there is a cave over here uh, where we could take a look and see if there's anything. Ah, oh, Cthulhu. Was it this cave? Cthulhu rises. Oh yes. Hello. That is a squid. If we want to kill it, we can get black ink to dye things black. You know, I I say leave Cthulhu alone. Okay, all right. Sometimes that is the wisest option. Careful not to trip over any rocks either. Let's see, where is that cave? I, I thought it was over here. <laughs> Ice on Alzheimer's. <laughs> Hey. Where did I park the car? I swear, somewhere. Navigational difficulty is a legitimate problem, okay? <laughs> it happens to most people as they get older. It's fine. <laughs> Those little dandelions kind of look like eggs. Uh, well, here's an actual egg if you want to compare. Oh, that doesn't look like an egg at all. <laughs> It is a little uh, flat in comparison. That was a terrible egg. I'm going to murder that now. All right. You can actually Trap, so. throw the egg and smash it if you want to. Hmm. This is a question I'm having a lot of trouble with. Do I want to smash the egg? Yeah, see, you just, you just go like this. You put it in your hand and then... Mm -hmm. There. Smashed. I don't, I don't see the egg now. Yeah, because it's smashed. It's it's gone. Hmm. Should have looked like a dandelion when you threw it. <laughs> now, it was nice of you to have gone through this whole landscape and carved out these walkways for us. I yeah. Um, I'm afraid I didn't do anything so convenient. Did I just hear you break your legs? Um, I'm fine. Okay. Here's some lava, um, but no cave to go with it. Go mine the lava. 
We can collect sure the lava fine. in iron buckets uh, at some point if we want to do that. Um, I don't know how we would then carry the iron buckets anywhere, but uh, we, we would be able to anyway. Okay. We can also collect water in iron buckets if we want to be a little more practical. Uh-oh, I think I've lost you. Let's see, I saw you. Oh, turn around. Look up. Ah. You're always above me. It's a little, it's like you're a cat. <laughs> it's, it's just a compulsion. Hmm. Hmm, I, I thought I knew where this cave was. Apparently I was mistaken. So we'll just wander around the countryside indefinitely until something happens, which it's not likely to. I, um... I thought I was going parallel to you, but apparently not. Turn around again. Oh, there you are. Okay. Well, while we're over mm. here, let's harvest some of this uh, sugar cane. Um, what was the sugar cane again? This sugar cane can be used to uh, bake things like cookies, or it can be made into paper to make books. And if we leave and the bottom piece there, right. it'll grow again. You know, the, the classic books made out of sugar canes thing. Like, that's, you know, that's normal. Is that a thing? Well, it is now. Okay. Hmm, I got a lot of sugar cane. I think I got one piece. <laughs> I kind of feel like I'm playing Cubert when we're going up and down those uh, rugged, rugged, jagged edges. Um, I'm not sure I know what Cubert is. I don't even have the words to explain it if you don't know what it is. Oh, well, um, hmm. I guess uh, we're screwed then. Very old school video game in which you play a corpulent, armless, orange creature that jumps up and down the side of jagged edges, kind of a mountain, and has to try not to get hit by snakes. That is a fantastic description. I don't know why you thought you wouldn't be able to describe it, because that, that worked pretty well. Yet, I fear the image you might have in your head is nothing like the game. That, be that as it may, I still think it was a really good description. Growing up, I used to play that and uh, the Tron video game at a... Uh, at a laundromat while I think my mother was at the lawyers. I can't remember. Does the Tron video game feel very meta to play? Uh, it, you know, it's one of those video games where, like, the very beginning, it's like that, and then they just, oh my god, you're on fire. I am on fire. I think I'll be okay, but it keeps burning. <laughs> Don't... I was trying to make the lava safe. That was my goal in coming over here. Hey, it worked. Yeah. I'm no longer on fire. Thank you. Uh-oh. My connection is lost. Oh. Hold on. Wiggly lines. Okay. Here we go. Um, now you're back this way. Oh. oh. Whoa. No. No. Come over here to the water. Hurry. <laughs> Everything got black on me, so I didn't know where I was. Oh, oh, respawn. Okay. And I'm well. sorry, but all your uh, items died in... Oh, wait, no, here they are. Oh, no. Um, um. You, uh... I made the lava safe, but it wasn't fast enough. Well, uh... I'm not fine. <laughs> oh, here we go. I'm going the wrong way, am I? Here, I'll... I'll... Okay, here we go, yeah. I keep getting lost. All right. 
yeah, my, my whole screen went black and I thought I had lost connection again. And so I hit a button and then the screen came back and I was in lava. So I suppose even in peaceful mode, there are many dangers. It's true. Uh, so yeah, Tron was very meta at the very beginning. It's like, for some dumbass reason, you're drawn into the video game too. Da -da -da -da. And then it was just a video game. Oh, there's my stuff, I guess. Or some some of it anyway. There's some other. Some of it got stuff. scattered by the. Uh, the water. Uh, yeah, the water carried it far away. Oh, I am gonna fight for this wool. Yeah. Well, I have uh, some things now. Here's some more over here. Oh yeah. Okay. Have you seen the original Tron movie? Yes, but it was a long time ago. Hmm. I tried rewatching it recently. Uh, I get well. I guess not recently. When the when the sequel came out, mm -hmm. and I remember loving it as a kid. But wow, it wasn't very good. It didn't age well. It didn't start well. <laughs> I don't know if. I mean, I don't know what they were thinking but it was like 25 minutes before jeff bridges even comes on screen hmm. what was in the movie before that um i don't remember i think people bickering oh yes the riveting bickering 80s movies really like people bickering we Okay, so we haven't run into any diamond yet, but I have found some iron that will come in handy. And there is some what is gold this? over here as well. Is that what this multicolored block is? Gold? Uh, that is iron. Okay. Up here is gold if you want to see an example of that. All right. I don't think... Oh, I do have a pickaxe. All right. Uh, if it's an iron one, it will it will give you gold. If it's not iron, it uh, it'll just break the block. Okay. I got iron. You got gold, actually. I guess that was I guess that was all the gold. Yeah, uh, gold gold is more rare, uh, which is fine because you don't actually use it for a whole lot. Mm. You can make weapons and tools out of it, but I. I seem to remember they're fragile. They break easily. Yes, because gold is very malleable. Yes. I, I might be thinking of a different game. I don't, I don't know. We could try it and well, find out. Well, that's, that's reality. Oh, yes. some more redstone. I just don't know if it mimics reality. It does, Misha. This is real. Did you ever did you ever watch any of those Dungeons and Dragons uh, uh, cautionary tale TV movies? Uh, I don't remember any cautionary tales. No. Yeah, they, you know, they were based on supposedly murders that took place because of D and D, uh, and hmm. Tom Hanks was in one. Uh, that was, uh, I think, Mazes and Monsters is what it was called. Um, oh yes, I I. I haven't seen it, but I went to a panel recently at Comic-Con that was about that very subject. Yeah, I I don't think that was the one that I saw, because there were quite a few of those sort of same basic premise, right, that were made around that time. Yeah. And um, I, I think I saw like a cheap knockoff uh, TV movie version of it, <laughs> and I just remember... Oh, connection lost. Hold on. I just remember... Um, at one point, they're like in a bar or whatever, and uh, their DM is like, I'll give you 100,000 experience points if you hit on that waitress or whatever. And I'm like, this is the point in most realities where everybody's like, Steve, don't be a dick, you know? But Wait, which, for whatever which one reason, is Steve? they were like, what was that, sorry? Which one is Steve supposed to be? 
Was it a dungeon master? Okay. Oh, look, I found some sort of thing. This wall is different. Oh, yes, this is granite. You can collect that if you want to. Do I do I want to keep busting through it? Uh, if you'd like, granite is uh, more rare than stone. We can use it to build things. Yeah, the granite is just another building material. You can't make tools from it or anything, but we can use it in our house somewhere. Okay. Uh, the reason I'm kind of digging around this lava pool is because this is where I've, I've, I've found diamond this way before, and diamond often is around lava levels, so that's, that's why I'm doing All this. All right. And I'm extending it a little bit so that I don't fall into the lava walking beside it. That's that's also that is a good idea. Okay, we have cleared out this lava pool and it has led us to another area that we have apparently been before where are we or somebody has dun 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 hmm. Might as let well me just hit these. m and pull up our map oh yeah that, that would be useful you can actually uh, create maps i don't think they work on caves, I think they only work uh, on like the overworld stuff. But uh, with paper, we can we can possibly figure out how to make the maps. But fake paper, not real paper. Well, it's real in Minecraft, so it's it's <laughs> you know real in the context of the game. But that I mean that counts. But you're not you're not talking about like paper paper. Oh, I found a, a block of a different texture. It looks like it has some black stuff in it. Uh, is it coal? Let's I see. I don't know. I'm terrified to dig and find out. I think it's maybe coal. that's coal. Yeah, I think you found the coal. Coal could mean diamond close by, right? Well. It could, except that coal is pretty much everywhere. No, oh, but but doesn't coal, if you get it hot enough, make a diamond? Um, yeah, I, probably something like that. Um, however, in that <laughs> that part of Minecraft, I, I also don't know if that mimics reality either. Hmm. Superman always used to squeeze coal and make it into a diamond for Lois Lane, right? Oh, that's how romantic. How cheap is what it is. I also possibly that. It's like, come on, Superman, you're friggin' Superman and this is how you're getting diamonds. Well, he's he's frugal. He's just uh I mean it would be kind of a waste of resources to, to purchase it when you can when you can just make one of your own really easily. He's just being environmentally aware. He is destroying the economy. Well, there is that, but but sometimes being environmentally aware destroys the economy. That's that's just how it goes sometimes. He's not a good capitalist. <laughs> Possibly not. I think the lava pit is like aggressively trying to hit me at this point. <laughs> is it is it shooting sparks up at you? Mm-hmm. And they keep getting closer. Man, I, okay, I found, oh, whoops. Uh, my pickaxe went away, but I have another pickaxe. I have another iron pickaxe, awesome. I am assuming you gave that to me, but 
I um, I've been finding coal like crazy. Oh, good. I keep thinking, I keep thinking I will hit diamond here any second. You might if you find it before me. Well, I mean that would be fine, but uh, just don't. Oh. Um, what? I think I did. I think I did. Really? Check this out. I found something that looks like it could be diamond. I'll allow you to do the groundbreaking ceremony over here. <laughs> Wow, you really did find diamond. That's uh, good, great, wonderful. Uh, okay, let's. I'm gonna I'm gonna build up around it a little bit so that we're sure that lava doesn't fall in when we try to uh, mine it. Because if we lose our diamond to lava, it will be extra tragic, and that has happened to me so many times. Out on the campaign trail, I have heard the tale told many, many times. Oh, whoops. Oh. Sorry, I thought you had that plugged up. I, I What I'm going to do is dig out around the diamond and just make sure that digging it isn't going to cause uh, lava to spill into it. Okay. You're doing, like, dwarven fortification stuff here. It's Well, it, it, it could be seen as similar, yes. I'm going to uh, keep searching for more diamond. Okay, apparently you've got a knack for it, so yeah, how about it? I'm like a pig with truffles. I found more lava. That doesn't really help, though, huh? Well, it doesn't help, um, but it uh, is not unexpected. There's also that old country song, I'm just an old lump of coal, but I'm going to be a diamond someday. Oh, that's so hopeful. Yeah. And there's also Aladdin. Diamond in the Is rough. The... Ah, diamond in the rough coal, right? I, I'm i not sure if it means coal or if it means like a diamond that's already been formed but it's like surrounded by a bunch of like um monkeys in little pajama things <laughs> no no that's not really what i was going for um oh okay like if it's like in in a rock somewhere you know like it's it's not a, a polished diamond that has been uh like roughened right it, like, po polished I, I guess little monkey pants some somehow the monkey pants fits in I think I it must really at this point. I know I'm being like overly concerned about this ah, diamond ah, thing. Ah, oh ah, no! Ah. Oh, all of your items are gone. Uh, oh no! I am so sorry. Uh, at least I hadn't started uh, diamond mining yet. I don't know how the hell I'm gonna find you now. Um, just try to follow the. Uh, the uh, torches, if you can. I have like no pathfinding abilities whatsoever. 
found some mushrooms. Oh boy, um, I have some torches here. I found some lava. This looks familiar. Yay, I found you. Oh, good. I now have a couple of pieces of coal. And that's really all I need. Really, I think the thing that makes this game difficult for me is you kind of need an understanding of basic physics. <clears throat> Do you think that would help? Because I'm looking at this uh, diamond arrangement here, and it it doesn't seem to be behaving in uh, accordance with physics. Not really, no. Here, I'm going to give you an iron pickaxe. Actually, come down here. Okay. Safer. Have an iron pickaxe and go ahead and mine this diamond and then we will take it immediately back up to the surface so that we don't lose it. All right. Oh, and here's some gold, but I don't want to mine that in case there's lava behind it. Right, yes. Let's, let's stay away from that for now. Okay. Now, uh, ooh, do you remember the way back? <laughs> I should, since I just did it, uh, follow the torches. I want to say, I don't, okay, wait, 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 let's try this. I think, I think this way is the torches. I see a torch, so that's promising. Oh, oh, here's more torches. Okay, do not fall in the lava. I'm trying very hard not to. I found some blue stone. Yes, is that... that is lapis lazuli. We can use that to make dye. Or, like, or okay. other blue things. Oh, yes, here we are. Okay. Yeah, if you just come around this corner, it leads to the stairs up. Okay. I am trying to go so carefully here. I hear rain, I think. How nice. Mm. Ah. And here we are, safe in our cozy little bungalow cave. All right, so I think this is probably a good point to call it a day for right now. We've got some diamond and some blue rock. and. All right, uh, now uh, next time we come back, we can make some tools with the diamond. And, oh, my pickaxe just broke on you. Oh. <laughs> I have I, a really hard head. I didn't even know it was, like, actually hitting you. That's good to know, I guess. Anyway, um, when we return, we can make some diamond tools and set to work building a portal. That sound good? Sounds good. Okay. See you next time. Bye-bye.